This little arrowhead-shaped plant is known as Nephythus swainii. And if you are into aroids, which is like monsteras, raphidophoras, philodendron, then this might be one that you might like to grow. I, first of all, I love how this kind of like it has this grayish green foliage and it's quite diminutive within the Araceae family. So this doesn't grow any larger. Um, you might see that it has a little bit of damage here. I have to say, I have some house mice in my house and I'm quickly finding the ones that it likes to nibble on, which is funny because it doesn't like, they don't seem to care for my philodendron or anything else in my Araceae, but like I've noticed this is so iconic of like house mouse eating. Um, and this is actually further back underneath one of my grow lights and it's that's all I'm growing in and it's not in any kind of window light or anything like that and it's been really good. So moderate light, um, I'm assuming where it's growing, which is native to kind of that west coast of Africa. So like the Ivory Coast, Cameroon, Gabon, um, a few other countries out there, but I can't remember off the top of my head. But I, I picked this up at the Aroid show, I don't know, maybe two, three years ago. It was probably one of the first ones that I picked up. I think I got it at auction and I am not looking back on it because this is such a cute little plant to grow. And especially if you're like, have a lot of plants and you are short on space and this is one that doesn't take up a tremendous amount of space. This is one that I think that you'll want to actually um, uh, propagate by division. I, I don't know if you could see this up close here, but uh, it has this kind of like a little bit more of this like rhizome that's kind of growing under and you could easily like cut that and actually take a little bit of a cutting on this. As far as fertilizing goes, I'm you just on a bi-weekly basis, you could probably give it a, a well-balanced fertilizer like a 10-10-10 or a 10-20-20, uh, sorry, a 20-20-20 or a 10-20-10, even if it's like flowering. Although I actually haven't had this flower yet. And you know, typically when people get um, you know these plants, it's more for their foliage than it is for their, their flower. But uh, I would love to actually see this, uh, the spadex and the spathe uh, that, that actually grows with this, this plant. Otherwise, I'll have to Google it and see what, <laughs> see what it looks like. But yeah, this one's, a, the, this one's a cute one. Again, not very popular in the houseplant market. You're probably not going to pick this up from your local plant shop um, unless your local plant shop is like super cool and has some really, really rare varieties. This is something that you'd probably have to get from a hobby grower. <laughs>